Hey everybody, welcome to Joy Lee's How to Make a Visual Novel video tutorial part one. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a simple visual novel in Flash, and later we're going to upload it onto joylee.com. Uh, before I begin, I'm going to assume you guys know the basics of Flash, like how to use the tools in the toolbar, uh, how to use the timeline, and most important, what a movie clip is. If you have no idea about anything of what I just said, then please watch this Flash video tutorial for beginners. The last and most important thing before we begin is please make sure you have either Flash CS6 or Flash CC Creative Cloud. This tutorial won't work if you're using any of the older versions of Flash, uh, Flash CS5, CS4, etc. because they don't export to HTML. If you are all set with that, then let's get started with our visual novel. First, let's create a new document. Click on Action Script 3. All right, here's our workspace. It looks pretty empty, so let's design our first scene. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the toolbar, click on the rectangle tool here, and I'm going to make a rectangle. Let's choose a color. I'm gonna choose my favorite, pink. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw the shape onto our stage. All right, so here's our first scene. Literally, it is just a rectangle shape right now. So let's convert it into a movie clip. What we're gonna do is select the rectangle, right click on it, I'm gonna convert to symbol. And let's call this symbol scene. I'm gonna press okay. All right, so now you see it has a blue border. This means that it's now a movie clip and let's go inside it to start adding some, some stuff. You can see it's pretty empty. It's much like the stage. It has one frame, one layer, and it has a rectangle here. If you go to our library panel here, you can see that our scene is here. It's pretty alone, but it's alone to himself. Don't worry, you'll have some friends later. So let's close our library panel and go back to our scene. Now this looks, this looks all right, but it looks pretty empty, doesn't it? Like it sure has some characters, backgrounds, and other stuff, right? So let's start, let's start adding all that. Make a new layer, go to your timeline. I'm gonna call this layer background. And this is an empty frame, see it's white. I'm gonna go to file, import, import to stage. Doo -doo -doo. And right here we have our directory. I'm gonna go ahead and click background. I'm gonna press open. Yay, it's imported. Okay, it's a little big, so I'm gonna use the transform tool. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. <laughs> Still too big, a little too small. That's about the good size, no, maybe a little more. That's good. And now let's add our character. Make another new layer. Let's call this layer character. And we do the same thing again. Go to File, Import, Import to Stage. And we're gonna add a little bunny. Oh, okay, she's a little big. So we're gonna use the Transform tool again. And make her a little smaller. So cute, okay. I'm gonna drag her in the middle. Maybe a little too small. Just make it a little bigger. That's great. Now this looks, this looks pretty good for a scene so far, but you're probably wondering, um, it's, it looks nice, but it should really have a text box, shouldn't it? So let's make a new layer this time. And instead of importing a, a image in, we're gonna make our text box directly in Flash. So let's go back and to our toolbar, select rectangle tool. And we're going to click and drag a rectangle. All right, we have, our, we have our text box here. It looks all right, but it looks like it's blocking our character, so I'm gonna lower the opacity. So I'm gonna go to Fill Color, make sure the rectangle is selected. Fill Color, going to Alpha, gonna lower it to, to maybe 45%. Oh, that's strange. What happened there? Let me choose the pink color. That was really strange. Anyway. So now we have our text box, you can see here. 
that's called changed in layer name text box and all right we have our basic layout of our visual novel now it looks all right so far but you're probably wondering hmm it should probably have like uh i don't know an actual plot line since you know it's a, it's a visual novel so we're gonna go ahead and make a new layer and i'm gonna call it text and now i'm gonna go back to the toolbar and click text tool i'm gonna choose black make it 100 percent so it's not invisible i'm gonna go ahead and drag and make a text here that's really big. Anyway, let's type something in. Little bunny foo foo was lost in the forest. It looks a little big here. doesn't really fit into our text box. So I'm going to go ahead and go to properties, the properties panel. Open that up. I'm going to lower the size. Right now it's 47 points. I'm going to lower it to, to 27. And let me just drag that down. That looks much better. So now we have our dialogue in our visual novel and the basics, the basic characters, the backgrounds, etc. You're probably wondering now, hmm, it's still a little boring. I mean, that's all it says. It's just like, it's literally just an image. We should probably add a page to this scene, right? So let's add a second frame. What we're going to do is select all the frames here. Make sure it's highlighted. I'm going to right click. I'm going to press insert frame. As you can see, the timeline winded and widened it a little bit. Now you have two frames extended. And now we're going to go ahead to our text layer. We're going to right click. Make sure you just have one frame selected on that layer, the second one. And we're going to right click, press insert keyframe. What that does is it makes a second separate frame from the first one. So now if you edit the second one, it won't affect the first frame. So you see, still the same. So let's change the second frame's dialogue. We're going to write. It was early in the morning and she was hungry. All right, so we have our second frame and let's go back to the first frame. Voila, one, two. Little bunny Fufu was lost in the forest. It was early in the morning and she was hungry. All right, so we have two pages for this scene. Let's finish this scene up and add our last third scene. We're gonna do the same thing here. Highlight the frames, right click, insert frame. And now we're gonna go to the third frame of the text layer. Right click, do the same thing again, do insert keyframe. I'm gonna end this scene with a question. What should she do. So now that we finished our scene, it has three pages. One, two, three. And now you're probably wondering, hmm, we should probably give choices, right, to the story. So like the player can choose to choose, maybe go this way, go that way, or I don't know, whatever, whatever you guys think of. So let's make our choices. We're going to go up, get out of scene here, go back to the stage. We're going to press this blue arrow. And see, this is a movie clip now. Our scene, we're going to drag our scene off to the side. And now we're going to go ahead and make our choices. I'm going to select the rectangle tool again. I'm going to choose pink. And I'm going to make my first choice. Drag it here. I'm going to use my text tool. Actually, wait, I should copy this first. So I'm going to take this, right click, copy, and now I'm going to paste the separate version. I'm going to paste, ta-da! And now we have our two blank choices. 
So I'm gonna make some text, put some text in our choices. So let's see. Um, for our first choice, I'm gonna write go and find carrots, and I'm gonna make that black. Mm. Highlight that, make it black. And I'm going to make our, my second choice. I'm going to write, take a nap. Make sure this in the middle. All right, we've, we've made our first two choices. Now we're going to do the same thing again. I'm going to convert both of these into movie clips. So make sure you have your selection tool selected. And we're going to go ahead and select just the first choice. We're going to right click on it, we're going to go convert to symbol, and I'm going to call this choice choice A and press OK. You can see it's a movie clip now, the blue border. And now I'm going to go ahead and select the second choice, right click, convert to symbol, I'm going to call it choice B and press OK. All right, we have our two choices. Go find carrots and take a nap. Let's go inside and take a look. It's really simple, just one frame, one layer, nothing special. Same for take a nap, one frame, one layer. So now we finished our choices, let's drag these off to the side. I'm gonna select both of these, or drag them over here. And hmm, you're probably wondering now, we should probably make scenes for these two choices, for go and find carrots and take a nap. So let's make, let's make another scene now. Go to use the rectangle tool, select pink. I'm going to make a rectangle. All right. And now I'm gonna convert this into a movie clip again. Right click, convert to symbol. And now I'm gonna call this movie clip scene A. Let's go inside. Pretty empty, one frame, one layer. Now I'm going I'm really lazy, so what I'm gonna do is just copy and paste from the first scene I made directly into scene A. So let's go here. And I'm just gonna select all the frames here. Right click, copy frames. And now I'm going to exit this scene. and go to scene, go inside scene A. And now I'm going to select this, right click, and this time I'm gonna choose paste frames. All right, it looks ex almost exactly the same as the first scene here. Little Bunny Fufu was lost in the forest, Little Bunny Fufu was lost in the forest. And of course, we shouldn't have the same dialogue for the two different scenes, right? I mean, go find carrots, Little bunny Fufu was lost in the forest. We know she's lost in the forest. So let's let's go ahead and make a new dialogue for scene A. Excited little bunny who who jumped up and down. And let's make another frame for page two. And now we're going to write, she hopped over the rock. No, she hopped up and away. And let's finish the scene with on the last frame. It's a frame. Looking for carrots. I probably should put a comma instead of a period. Okay. So this is scene A. Excited little bunny Fufu jumped up and down. She hopped up and away looking for carrots. 
And to finish it, I'm going to make a new layer. And this time I'm going to select here, right click. I'm going to do insert blank keyframe. This way, it's not going to affect the first three frames here. It's going to be invisible. So I'll leave, leave these layers down here. And I'm going to go ahead and make a black rectangle. Black. All right. And now I'm going to write my ending message. I'm going to select white. I'm going to do here. And I'm going to write the end. It looks a little too small. I'm going to go edit in properties. Oops, make sure it's selected. To, mm, that looks good. I'm going to center it. Align center. Pull this down the middle. And now we finish scene A. Ta-da! One, page one, page two, page three, the end. Let's exit and go back to stage now. So now we made our uh, scene A for this choice here. We should probably make a scene for this one. So let's go drag this off to the side and make a new scene. Doo -doo -doo. My favorite color is pink. <laughs> okay. Let's convert the symbol. And this time we're going to call this scene, scene B. And press OK. Again, I'm really lazy, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy from the first scene. Go ahead and copy, select the frames, copy frames, exit back to stage, then go select scene B, go inside, right click, paste frames. All right. So let's see, what should we write for this for scene B? Take a nap. Hmm. She yawn. Mm, let's make page two. I'm gonna right click, insert frame, and I'm gonna do keyframe. Settle, settling. Oops. Settling down on the grass. I'm going to add in the third frame. I'm going to do the last sentence. Insert keyframe. She, f no. Little bunny foo who fell asleep. And like scene A, I'm going to make a the end frame right here. But again, I am extremely lazy, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy from scene A. I'm going to go back to stage here. Go down. This is scene A, right? I think it is. Yep, it is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and copy just one frame. So select the DN frame, right click, copy frame. I'm going to go into scene B. Okay, and I'm going to make a new layer. And now I'm going to right click and do paste frames. So let's go check out page four or frame four. Yep, exactly the same as scene A. She yawned, fell down on the grass, little bunny foo foo fell asleep. The end. All right, so we finished all the scenes all the and all the choices for our mini visual novel. And you're probably wondering, hmm, I mean, it's all right, but with all these pictures and the story, but hmm, it wouldn't it be really nice if we had some music or soundtrack, you know, like just something like background music, right? So what I'm going to do is import music, go to file, select import, but instead of doing import to stage this time, I'm going to select import to library. And I'm going to select my mp3 here on the beach. And I'm going to open it. So 
gonna import. Oops. It's importing. And voila, it's imported right here. So let's listen to it. Sounds pretty cute, right? I think so. Let's stop it. And what I'm gonna do is add this into the first scene. So the entire novel is gonna have this, this background music. Now, what we're gonna do is create a new layer. Let's call this soundtrack. I'm gonna go ahead and select this empty, empty frame here. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the properties panel. And right here we have label and sound. I'm gonna go ahead and go to sound. And you can see we have the music here we import it into our library. I'm gonna select it on the beach. And as you can see, our soundtrack now has the sound wave of our MP3 here. And now we have officially finished our mini visual novel. So, you're probably wondering why, hmm, wait a minute, did I save? Oh my god, I didn't even save! So I should probably save this project. Let me just go to file, save. And let me just go ahead into my projects. And I'm going to call this Carrot Hunt. Let's do a little space here. And I'm going to press Save. So let's go to our file directory and see what it looks like. Yep, there's our FLA file. And now you're probably wondering, hmm, wait a minute. This doesn't make sense. I mean, I have all the pictures, I have nice music, and I have all the choices, but don't we have to put it together? Like, don't we have to like export it to something? And that's what we are going to do. Now, to export it, we're going to go to CreateJS Toolkit. Just go to Windows. And open up Toolkit for CreateJS. Now what this does is it's going to publish flat, this flash file into HTML and JavaScript. It's not going to publish it into, into a Swift file. So let's go ahead and publish it. Publish. And voila, we have our visual novel here and it's, it, looks, it looks really flashy and really, it really hurts my eyes. Let me just go back to flash. I mean, it looks it looks good, and we have all our we have all our Im images exported. But you probably want to see what it looks like, the the real files, right? So let's go to our directory. Oh wow, look at all that! So you, as you can see, when I pub when I published it, it created an HTML file. My default browser is Chrome, so but yeah, see, it's an HTML document. It also created a JavaScript document, J JavaScript file. And it created these two folders, sounds and images, our bunny background. So we officially finished our video, to, uh, this video tutorial for part one. What we're going to do next is we're going to upload our, our visual novel onto Joyly. So stay tuned for part two as we upload it and actually build our visual novel. See you guys.